Hi, today's video is about drawing trial lines. These techniques that you'll see today you can apply to other illustrations as well. So the idea is not to create a scientific illustration like this. which took me over three hours to do, but more of the base sketch that you would take perhaps like um, 15 minutes, but it will still get the essential details of your trailer bow. The trailer bow I will be drawing is this one, and I will go through the steps that you can draw any trailer bow and then apply it to other things. Um, it is best to draw with a pencil, preferably a soft pencil, maybe a, a 2B, but pencil will do, have a racer handy, um, but because pencil doesn't show up well on the camera, I'll be using Sharpies uh, instead. So what is a trilobite? A trilobite is basically a, a shape that is maybe a circle, maybe an oval, or maybe it's even more of a tapered shape. And then it is divided into three this way, and also three this way. And you're already getting sort of a semi-shape of a trilobite through here. And so the glabella, basically the feeding parts, will be in this part. If it has eyes, not all trilobites have eyes, might be here. You start having your segments here. And near the tail it will change. So that took me less than a minute. Well actually it took me 15 seconds just to do a very rough um, sketch. But what I want you to do is to apply a little bit more detail than that. So looking at this trilobite it has little spines coming off the side of its head and off the segments, but it also even has a snout in there. It definitely has raised eyes and a large glabella. So um, large glabella usually means that um, it was a, a, a hunter because underneath there, that's where its stomach parts are. It's got little ridges on top of um, the glabella, and also it's some of the parts of the head. So those were probably used as sensors as well. Just to kind of give you an idea of a mode of life. So as you were drawing, you try to get an idea of a mode of life. So this trilobite, as a rough shape. So I'm going to, instead of doing a light sketch, I'm using silver to get the overall shape. And then instead of pressing harder, I will use a darker sharpie. So that's my overall shape. And then it has a snout coming out that way. its head is divided this way and the body are pretty even here and then that's where the tail part when it starts to sort of curve over. So that's about here. The axial lobe is very narrow so it wasn't much didn't really go swimming it was on a muscle Trilobite. And you would actually count those segments as well to add to it. So I already got the overall shape. 
and I'll count the segments, draw them in, and then draw in all the additions. So now we have our basic drawing of our trilobite. Um, because I was using the silver pen as a base, the purple didn't really go over the top of it. Once again, I really stress that you use pencil, light at first, and then slightly darker to go over those lines to really um, give that sense of what it is. And now you need to put labels. Last of all, don't forget your title and your scale. 